I don't the, the wonder is why we're going to backfill in 2019. Dio to introduce his question. Well, Margaret uh, Lashkin Carl, in December 2017, uh, Minister, you received a protective disclosure from an Air Corps technician who served between 1991 and 2013, and he made very serious allegations as to his, how his health was compromised in that period and how he was victimised as a consequence of the resultant bouts of sicknesses. What action did you take on the foot of that disclosure? Minister, two minutes. As the deputy is no doubt aware, Section 16 of the Protected Disclosures Act 2014 sets out confidentiality uh, requirements um, um, regarding the protection of, and of the identity of a disclosure. Therefore, it is not possible for me to go into detail in relation to any actions being taken on foot of an individual disclosure, so that to ensure that such individuals are confidentially, uh, is not, uh, confidentiality is not breached. However, as I have previously stated in the House, the health, serve, the health and welfare of the men and women of Ogle and Aheron are a priority for me, the Department and the Defence Force, and I am fully committed to uh, compliance with the requirements of the Protected Disclosures Act 2014 and the protections contained in that Act. Uh, to this end, I want to ensure that those making protected disclosures are reassured that uh, where such disclosures are made in accordance with the legislation, that they are and will continue to be dealt with in a thorough and fair manner. I have made it clear to my department and the def and defence forces uh, that the protections of the Act must be afforded to those who make qualifying disclosures under uh, that Act. First supplementary, Minister, uh, the Act does not preclude you from answering the question, did you contact the uh, person who made this disclosure? It does not preclude you from, as you have in the past, uh, when other uh, whistleblowers uh, ca came to the knowledge of this House, uh, meet, you met them. Uh, you also uh, dealt with an in, in, independent uh, assessor who, who, who met them. In this case, did you contact them? Have you had any communications with the person in question other than a, an acknowledgement uh, of receipt of his uh, disclosure uh, and did you make uh, the ass assessor aware of it? This man had major, major complications uh, and major problems within the, the Defence Force, within the Air Corps. He was doused in chemicals such as creases, oils and even aircraft fuel. Um, when he complained uh, to the doctors, the doctors said, suck it up and get back into your uniform and get on with it, or call a malingler or a bluffer. He had to attend a private doctor. Um, he was exposed to chemicals such as trichloroethene, -chlor Airdrox 666, MEK and other, other chemicals, which I'm sure you're aware, he says in his disclosure, uh, it is around this time I began to become sick with symptoms such as diarrhoea, tremors, anxiety. The, the, were you aware, or have you taken any action to find out whether he was victimised and put onto dirty duties such as raking grass, cleaning stairwells and offices, uh, using the very chemicals which were affecting his, his health? So, Minister, you aren't precluded because I have not identified uh, the person in question. So, you're not precluded from saying, yes, I received it, yes, I've contacted it, yes, it has been dealt with. Uh, it, but it has been dealt with. It's a long time since you've had that, and there doesn't seem to be any, issue, any movement. Minister is one minute. The deputy, if you read the legislation, I am precluded uh, from uh, discussing any protected disclosure uh, from any individual, uh, and that is, uh, if it, that is clearly uh, set out in uh, the Act. Uh, but in keeping with all uh, protected disclosures that I receive or that is received uh, into my department, it is uh, treated with the utmost um, um, importance. Uh, and it is given a very uh, uh, clear process uh, to go through um, process through my department and and uh, and all other parties that it, it it involves. As you know, there's a number of legal complexities in around all of protected disclosures uh, that are made. There is no clear cut answer uh, uh, to, to to most of them. Uh, but let me state, um, um, and you spoke about. Um, some of the chemicals that were being used in the, in the Air Corps, and I can take liberty in talking about there has been some historical um, 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 stuff, um, 
questions here in, in the uh, chamber in previous uh, parliamentary questions I have replied to. I think I've outlined to the, all of the deputies uh, within the House. Uh, I appointed uh, an independent, ind independent um, person. I have been in contact with previous other people who may protect the disclosures, um, and I have, um, I have now seeking, and seeking legal advice on the best uh, way forward um, in around uh, uh, issues in around um, chemicals and the uh, air core. Final question. As a supplementary, at the, at the end of the protective disclosure, and I'd ask you to have a look again at it, this man is in dire financial circumstances, and he, the, he states that he is due maritime patrol duty uh, monies from 2009 to 2015, uh, which most other personnel have got uh, reinstated. He has not. I would ask that you kind of progress that claim. Um, without me identifying them or giving anything else away about his identity, and I know I have the permission to give that identity, but I, 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 I will do that maybe at another stage. If that alone, it might help the dire circumstances that this very ill man is, is, is in, uh, and I would ask you at the very least to look at that. Final response. Thank you very much, Deputy. I will, uh, of course, um, look if there's anyone that is um, due. Uh, monies and a fairly due to my, I have no issue whatsoever, and I will I will look into that for you. And um, uh, if you want to uh, uh, write me on that, uh, if you have if you have the permission of uh, this person uh, to write to me, I have no issue whatsoever in giving you a full uh, reply on on that specific issue. Um, but you would have to write to me on on on, on that. I am not going in uh, to the contents of. Uh, the protected uh, disclosure uh, that had been made uh, by this person, um, and I think it would be totally inappropriate of me um, to uh, go into uh, any uh, protected uh, disclosure. But what I want to do is to reassure all members of this House here um, that I, my department, and um, uh, Defence Forces uh, treat all of uh, protected disclosures. Uh, with um, an absolute uh, uh, urgency, and, and they are given every um, uh, to make them, to given every opportunity to make sure that we, we, we get them uh, dealt with.